God damn. Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And this is Halloween 5. Revenge of the Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> By the way, there's a really cool scene. <laughs> the very beginning of the movie, he stabs the fuck out of that pumpkin. <laughs> They want you to understand it's the revenge time. He will kill your pumpkin it's time to get in a way that the Smashing Pumpkins only wish they could. Real nasty. You make me have herpes. You know what? It does have one of the best openings in the series. It does. The, the, yeah, the very opening title sequence is, without a doubt, one of the best, period. Maybe, maybe, no, I was going to say, is it better than Halloween 1 or 2? Two, two's better. Two it, with, with the skull, skull but yeah. it's still it's pretty close. Either way, the revenge of Michael Myers shows that Michael Myers is not afraid to wear a mask that looks like Ross Perot's melting dick. Tuck that shit the fuck That's, in. It's like one of those like I don't know. It's like OCD thing. It's Jeez. like every time you see it, it's just popped out. You're like fucking do it. Tuck it in. You know, have you ever seen those people with like their uh, their sleeves are like not buttoned? And you're like, can you just fucking do that? Like, Tuck what are you, in, Josh Hartnett? I came to win by all means. So That's basically. Richard. Uh, I fucked you up with that one, didn't I? You did. I did. You did, I did Richard. He, he didn't pull the punches. Make a lot um, of jealousy. So, what we get in the, the revenge of Michael Myers, it takes place immediately after Halloween 4, which is actually pretty cool. I do like the fact that they connect really well, like Halloween 1 and 2. It's mm. almost like one continuous uh, shot yeah. from Halloween 4 transitioning to Halloween 5. Because he gets stuck in that lazy river. Yeah, it does. He does. He floats down. He's like, I'm moving down the river. If you watch closely in that scene, you see his shoulder like poke out weird. He's got some sort of flotation device. And it's weird yeah. just to see Michael as his unstoppable force just stuck in this river. He's like, <laughs> you do see a little extra bonus stuff that you didn't see in Halloween. 4 also. The fact that they used dynamite, that was not at the end of Halloween 4. He's like, take this, you son of a bitch. And he throws it in there. And you see Michael, like, crawling through the dirt and the, and the shat. He looks like Andy Dufresne from the Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> Andy Dufresne. It's like, crawl through all sorts of muck. I can make it. And then, you know, like, even as he's crawling out and he gets to the river, came out of nowhere, there's a river, I guess. He's like, god damn, they're throwing dynamite. He's like, I didn't know it was like that, Jim. And, um, I love King. He stands up and he's still like fucking active and he's like, oh shit, there's a house over there in the distance. By the way, I always thought, I'm gonna go ahead and fix what I thought originally a long time ago, that this, you know, his mask just changes out of nowhere. Like he already had that shitty mask on when he's floating down the river from Halloween 5. I just thought he was wearing like a, the Halloween 4 mask and then it just shifts into that. But listen, they shot him so much his fucking mask changed. That's how fucking <laughs> many bullets that guy took. Dude, uh, when, but when it's tucked in, it looks good. Yeah, I mean, it looks not, it's, good. it's passable. It doesn't look that bad. So he, he you know, at, cage. so literally at the end of Halloween 4, we're in Halloween 5. It goes right there. Like, yeah. it gets you right there. And then uh, he sees a cabin in the woods and, you know, it's a, a bingo hall in the woods. He, he, <laughs> he, he stands up, you know, all out of sorts, you know, trying to make his way up this little, you know, incline to get to this house. Making my way downtown. I don't know the rest of the words. I was, gonna, I was gonna help you, but I don't know. Um, but he reminded me, like, him, him stumbling around, like, oh, shit. He looked like every dude trying to get into their house at 4 o'clock in the morning, drunk as fuck, so you don't wake your girl up. And you're like, oh, shh. <laughs> and you're shushing. And there's no one there. Yeah, you're just shushing, like, your keys. You're like, shh. <laughs> yeah, he looked like that. And the guy, you know, the, the, the redneck man that lives you in the woods. You drop a hot dog on the floor, and then you go, oh. <laughs> it's <laughs> the loudest <laughs> sound in the world. Uh, yeah, it's, it echoes. But, you know, the, the, the dude that's living in the cabin, and I don't know, Gambit's dad. He looked like Gambit's dad. He's living out in the fucking <laughs> he's cabin. Got he's got a parrot. Yeah, and he's like, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. He's like, what? And, you know, he goes out to investigate. There's nobody there, obviously. It's Michael Myers. He turns around. Michael tries to choke him. He's like a half-hearted, like, ugh. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I'm... Tired. Yeah, it's like if you're getting into a fight at a bar and you're the drunk one and you're trying to, like, really show your fucking manness and you're like... <laughs> like, don't hit me. Uh... Anyway, he puts Michael on a slab, and Michael lays and sleeps for a year, as we all wish we could, <laughs> because of work and shit. But we get reintroduced to Jamie, and Jamie has suffered a lot, so she's uh, mute at this point. Though, Walt. 
the Walt Gymnasium. What happened? Um, <laughs> uh, there, there's, a, there's a line of thinking that it's like, why is she mute? And, and, and a lot of people think that it's just because she went through a lot of shit. Uh -huh. Like it's like trauma. But some people think where she touched him in H4, she picked up the, like she picked up on a lot of things from him, but also the fact that he was unable to speak. Chlamydia. <laughs> so, so they think that since he's not able to speak where she touched him and, and he transferred some mm. of him to her, um, it's fucking stupid. That's, but they that think sounds that, like that's a all, stretch of the imagination. She can't speak because he can't speak. Well, I, I you know, Unless I, 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 I like Willy Wonka, but I want to stay in reality. The everlasting gobstar, you get nothing. Uh, <laughs> I want to say, I think what they were going for, the director, like this movie's a, a turd nugget, but I, I'm thinking what they're going for is the fact a child, young as she was in Halloween 4, saw a lot of bad, nasty shit go down in front of her, Nest. and therefore kind of went semi-catatonic. And, and you know, and there there are cases where children that are suffer uh, psychological damage like that will retreat into themselves, and I think that's what she. Now the problem that's is what happened to me when the Packers lost the Super Bowl in '97. That's what happened to me when my dad walked out and never came back. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I went somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, um, hey, Dad. <laughs> I will buy you a garden where your flowers can bloom. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, what I, uh, you know, the, the problem with that, that's a cool angle, I suppose, if you want to go with that. Like, it, it kind of lends to, like, more of a, a grounded feel in, like, um, my butt. The problem is when you get into the psychic bullshit territory, when you get yeah. into Mother Cleo, that's when it gets like, oh, fuck. Wow. Wow. You really cheated on me with three other hoes? Um, because when, when she's laying there and then she wakes up and she starts seeing through Michael's eyes. By the up. way, you also see I'm Michael. Gonna be, I'm going to be. I'm going to be the man that wakes up next to you. But you also see Michael unmasked, which is fucking dumb. Because if you really look, you can see... You can see his face. Like, it's like, you know, he wakes up and then Jamie's seeing through his eyes and she's fucking, you know, whatever. And then she's like, yeah. and then he pulls off that <laughs> shitty mask. Like, at, at the first thing he should have done, you said he should have not, he, you know, he should have at least thanked the guy for the Campbell soup, but he deserved to fucking die for maintaining that shit mask. Whatever. You know, even, even that mask, it's, it's a terrible but mask. But you didn't say, God bless you, when I sneezed. <laughs> Liar whore, liar whore. <laughs> Even that, that mask is shit as it is. Like maybe if they dirtied it up and maybe deteriorated it a little bit more, maybe and tucked it the fuck in. Yeah, and tucked it in. Just tuck it in. What do y'all think? Tucked in, tucked out. What do y'all think? <laughs> out, man. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Just one all it took to what it taken was one sound guy to be like, hey man. Let me help let me you help, out. Yeah, yeah. You know like NFL players when their shoulder pad pops out? That's and they're like, hey, let me get you, dog. It, 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 it looked like Michael Myers was constantly not ready to be filmed. <laughs> like he was just like, oh, I, just, I fucking woke up and, and Diane didn't leave on time and I've had a bad day. But he wakes up, he puts the mask on, he kills the dude that's been keeping him for a year for whatever reason. I guess he's the greatest human being ever. He didn't even think to contact the police that this weird half-dead man showed up with blood on him and a mask. He didn't even. Well, I mean, he lived like a troll under the bridge, though. But it was like a year. Sea shanty, you know. Well, like, he goes out for groceries. I, was he doing? Was he doing sexual things to Michael? What was it like to have that bum? But the dude uh, violated. Like, Michael tried to choke him out and then passed out. He's like, so when he wakes up, he's probably gonna kill me, right? Yeah. I'm still gonna keep him around. Well, I don't. That, that the whole idea with maintaining Michael for that long and not even attempting to contact the police, not even. Just even if you didn't know he was a serial killer, just the fact that this strange man tried to kill you and he's covered in blood, you didn't even once think to call the cops. I think you were trying to put a toaster oven into the disaster or something. You were doing weird sexual stuff with him. Yeah. Either way, he kills the guy, he moves on. Now the thing is, again, Jamie is seeing all this through Michael's eyes and she's having like a catatonic, or not, a, she's having a seizure. They rush her down there and then I love, this is when you get Donald Pleasant bursting in and sure. Donald Pleasant at this point is full on wackadoo. Yeah. Like he's fucking Tasmanian <laughs> devil. He's like, it's, it's the past. He's, you know, he like, he he's shows the doctor over. The doctor's like, gonna, like face. yeah, the doctor's gonna cut her throat to get air in it because she can't can't breathe, and he's like, it's gonna pass! Get off here! And then the doctor's like, you were gonna fucking kill her! It's like, it's gonna pass. I don't know. Like, I, I like how you didn't even acknowledge the doctor. It's like, you know, you got your fucking degree at Arizona State University online. By the way, the doctor looked just like Cillian Murphy. He does. He does. Um, so, 
Dr. Loomis kind of knows what's up a little bit s strangely, I guess. Like, he, right. you know, I, he's always believed that Michael is not human anymore and he's some kind of evil force that just drives Michael to do what he, he needs to do. But I never really thought that he would think that there was any kind of telepathic bond. Just comes out of but it just, he automatically assumes, like, well, he's supernatural, so I guess it's, it's in the fucking book. I like that when they're in there and they're like, and they're like you know, Rachel shows up out of fucking nowhere mm. and she's like, she doesn't even remember stabbing my mom. You know, and, yeah. and then, and then fucking Tina, I got, I fucking, look, I fucking, and I know people don't, I know I'm alone in this, but I fucking hate her. I don't, I don't hate her. I hate that. I, I think that she oh. is a poor substitute. She shows up and she brings the fucking dog in and she's like, dogs are allowed here. She's like, I don't care, it's so fun. And then she brings the fucking dog in, but I like it. They're all having a good time and they bought her a dress and Jamie's so happy, but then Loomis comes in and he's like, <laughs> what's going on here? What is going on here? And they're all like, oh fuck. It's like it's like if you brought your friends over to like, you know, just hang out or whatever, and your drunk stepdad walks in, he's like, you gotta be at school tomorrow, right? You gotta make me a lean cuisine. Where's your goddamn <laughs> mathematics? <laughs> I'm like, Dad, I'm here with my friends, like, fuck your friends! Go get me some popcorn. Make me TV do. Give me a popcorn. <laughs> Hungry man Jack. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, it, beer bats and fish sticks. Uh, beer bats and <laughs> no, fuck that. I want Long John Silver. Country gravy. Uh, the white kind, not the brown. I hate brown gravy. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, look. The, the fact is, Doctor Loomis shits on their parade. There's there's a cool scene though when Rachel goes home, and it's one of, they waste Rachel in this. Like, but oh yeah, they kill her quick. Yeah, there, there's a cool scene though when when Michael's like hanging around the house or whatever, and like he's, and, a, and, he's hanging around the house like, when are she coming home? <laughs> I'm just gonna hang out. Here. Jamie picks up on the fact that Michael's around and Loomis is like, Ride it! Ride it in fucking clown! <laughs> Ride it down! Ride it in that So she, he calls the check on her and he's like, The dog is barking! Go outside! <laughs> I don't know why Loomis is all right. He's like, Get to the shop! Yeah. <laughs> he is! He's like, Come on! Go on, neighbors! <laughs> but Loomis is like, Hey, you know, hang up the phone and run to the neighbors. Well, he's like, Yeah, so he's full flapjack crazy. Hot so. and sexy in her town. She runs to the neighbor and he's like, What, Barbara? And then, <laughs> and then it just turns Turns out the dog was running down the street or whatever, but turns out at the end of the day, Michael was in the house. She finds the broken uh, picture, and then Michael just unceremoniously fucking kills her, and then Rachel's yeah, gone. One of the best characters from H4. That's what I never understood why why they so quickly killed her off. I think there was a story about that. I don't know if it was a contract dispute or something that was going on behind the scenes, but to kill a, a main character that survived Halloween 4 that everybody seemingly loved, and to bring her back for the fifth one, and then quickly kill her within 25 minutes of the film. Yeah. There's got to be something else going on behind the scenes, and then replace We're her. We're gonna give this role to Tina. Yeah, yeah. It just it didn't really make sense as a narrative standpoint. But I mean, I've never written a movie before, but maybe they thought it worked. <laughs> but fuck, I don't think so. I mean, I've never written a movie before, but this smells like shit. Loomis is fucking freaking out, like he always is. <laughs> he's so mad though. Like he walks back in the. But room, I like, he's like it. Write it. Jim, yeah. please. Because I write. Write. I told you no. Jamie, please. After a while, he Lewis doesn't like saying please to anybody, okay? Have you seen him? And after a while, he's like, I love it. I love it after he comes in and confronts Jamie one more time. And he like shoves the food tray. He's like, Jamie! <laughs> he's like, he made you stab your stepmother. Yes, Jamie. It's like, and he's like basically telling he's like, do you want to be like him? Don't you wonder why he has this control over you? He made you that. But in this one, he specifically goes and targets Rachel because he felt like embarrassed or some shit. Like he was like, how dare you fucking touch me? Okay, I'm Mike Tyson. I'm knocking your shit next week. <laughs> and like he, but because he, she had no. Did you say something about me on moviepoopshoot.com? Oh, moviepoopshoot. You're going to eat our shit after we shit out. Oh, your shit. People want to kick some ass. Yeah. And when the Loomis thing also, by the way, Loomis, again, showing that he doesn't give a fuck about child welfare at this point. Like, let me, he's been dealing with Michael Myers as his sole patient for like years. So he doesn't really have the touch for children, but he says, do you know what they did in the cemetery? They found a gravesite that was stuck up. A nine-year-old body. Aren't you nine years old, Jamie? <laughs> what do you think he's going to do? With he's going to put you in that goddamn casket. He's going to kill you. Uh, that's what he's going to stop that shit like a Thanksgiving turkey. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Uh, take the stalking. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
So Dr. Oh. Loomis, again, again, I can't point out the fact that how crazy he is in this. Like, he is so fucking wild. It's cool, yeah. though. I do like to see... Unhinged. I, yeah, unhinged. It's just so loud. Yeah. Loomis unhinged. Yeah, it's just, it's the best. It's, it, well, it's, it's kamikaze. It, it's fucking Loomis <laughs> unplugged. It's Nirvana. <laughs> They're having this college kids conversation, and then she's like, Michael! And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you hear a fucking Mustang thing like skid to the top. He's like, What? <laughs> I love that part, dude. I don't know why. It's just like this asshole out of nowhere just like fucking hears it. He's like, What? And they, you get introduced to Michael, the asshole guy. I like that asshole guy. I wish he had stayed around a little bit. His fucking car. Like, so he's obsessed with his car, and that's where Michael uh, Myers actually starts to show up. He scrapes the rake across his car, and he's like, Oh, you did not <laughs> just fucking you do that. Fucking, you tried to Nicholas Cage it with him. Like, Let's go. You're in the shit. <laughs> he comes down, and then Michael's like, he just he just puts the thing in the guy's head, and it's a, it's a whatever kill. He kills the guy. It's a decent on. kill. Yeah, it's a cool kill because he he puts the fucking. And that Michael head. knew that that would that would piss him off. That he went. <laughs> See, he, like, he, he scraped that fucking thing oh, real yeah. deep in that. Well, Michael had picked up. He he took the place of the uh, her boyfriend, and he's wearing this other mask, like this Richard Nixon kind of mask or whatever, and he won. Wants to be like her boyfriend. He's like, I want to. I just want to. I just want to get my knob wet. It's once. like an H two when she touches his yeah, hand. Yeah. Well, and then uh, so he's she's driving with her, and she's like, Michael. Well, she kisses him on the face, and when she kisses him, he goes, like, like you see his eyes move. She's like, wow, really creepy. It was like your breast smells like fucking pickles, and I don't want to kiss you. So they start driving, and then she's like, I want to stop and get a cigarette. Stop, Michael, stop. And he's like, fucking bitch. And then he's like, they're not even on sale. There's no coupons. And then he like reverses it. It's just like you literally are seeing a fight between a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Like when the girl is screaming at you to stop because she wants something, and you're like, fuck. And then he reverses it real hard, like squeals the tires, and she gets out. She's in the store, and that's when you get the famous, or infamous, I suppose, cookie woman line. Yeah. Because, you know, at this point, Jamie is like fucking freaking out, and she's having another fit, and Loomis is there. A big woman, a big woman who works, works in the store. Yeah. What? Jamie Cookie woman. Cookie woman. Cookie woman. I like how Lou is like, big woman! Is that big woman? Does she work at the store? Michael wanted to bang a big woman? And then she's like, Cookie, and then he's like, Cookie. That wonder's like, I buy my lottery tickets there every Saturday. I know, but I, I love that 45th and Meeker. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I know it well. I, I like how Blue is like, after she gets it out, jerk off to that sign for my car. Oh, God. No one was supposed to know about that. Farva? I'm gonna lie. Somebody knew about that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, fuck, shit, fuck. Uh, uh, that was some super troopers, guys. Uh, but um, when he says, when she's when she gets it out, she's like, Cookie Woman. You you, you notice Lubis' face, and he turns to the sheriff, and he's like, Cookie Woman? <laughs> he's like, is she back again? And somehow 500 fucking cop cars show up and say, Tina, you gotta come back to the hospital. It's like, wait. Is Jamie okay? He's like, just now? You were supposed to go there anyway. And now you're concerned after you got your fucking nicotine fix, you bitch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, and she looks over and Michael's like, fuck, I'm out. Cops, I'm out. By the way, Michael had already changed back to his regular mask. Like, he was like, this Richard Nixon thing smells like ass. And he's like, oh, ooh. I'm going to leave this untucked and put it back on and look like Ross Perot running for election again. My favorite shit. So I guess I, you, you just assume he was going to kill her when she got back in the car after she had a smoke, I guess. I don't know what Michael. Michael probably got the biggest boner of his life with that first kiss yeah. he's like now i need to smoke maybe i'll get me some road i'll just breathe it in um he he takes off into the night she comes in and this is where you were wanting to talk about when tina arrives at the hospital and the interaction with jamie and her oh yeah i just fucking hate it dude when tina does show up at the hospital jamie's like i said your name i spoke for the first time and god knows how long i need some help please fucking help me she's year. like i have some my heart feels neon fuck it and she just leaves her and everybody loves tina and i'm like tina's a fucking Do bitch they? she's a shitty fucking human being who <laughs> left that fucking kid there by herself when she's the only person in the world she's lord baltimore she had to take care of her and then still jamie and you know tina you know uh, granted like when she goes to the party and and michael's chasing after the kid tina does Sacrifice her life to save her, but fuck uh, that shit. Did she too, die though? She looked too like, goddamn late. Yeah, she died. Well, they, you see her on the stretcher later, like. Ugh. Yeah, well, I don't know how she died because it looked like she got stabbed in the in the arm and or, or it like she got arm. stabbed in the armpit. Armpit, but she's not, not gonna kill you. Axe. Party, the barn, the barn party. 
<clears throat> that was actually <clears throat> it reminded me. It kind of reminded me of it was it, uh, for some reason that scene was cool to me. Like I liked that scene. I don't know why. I guess it, it, again, it, it got the flavor of the '80s down. I mean, it was made in '89, but it, it was just really cool. It was really. Mark Lim was so fucking hot. Yeah. Oh God! But That's it was great. so including, like it felt like really including, and it felt like a movie. Like I could only imagine in '89 going to see this for the first time in the theater and just feeling like this cool, like you know, Halloween thing come over you, and and kind of feel like you were watching a Friday the Thirteenth film. Not that yeah. they're mixing, but just have that kind it of was in a barn feeling, yeah. And it just it felt cool. I don't know. And even when they fuck with the two dipshit deputies, which are, are oh, awful. Oh, By the way, so you add that Mr. Bean element into it with Mr. Magoo, you were really no putting one, a finger in your butt and smelling it and asking other people. You to can't do it. ever take this movie seriously again. The minute they show up and it's like, don't, 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 don't go, go, yeah. fuck that shit. That's terrible. I was glad when they died. And that was Michael wasn't as vicious. I felt like Michael took a, a step back. Maybe it was the one year hiatus. It's like you know a boxer not training. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I can do it. It, it was Rocky from Rocky Three. He was like. I, the other way he's like, then Mickey's like, let's go back to the old gym. Let's get sweaty and rough. And he's like, come here. He's like, it's okay. But yeah, it was the 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 death scenes were cool. The the, the pitchfork thing and and uh, and then he then he saw Shazer with the fuck. You didn't even get to see it though. With the hay thing. Yeah, it's I just thought like he decapitated her. Yeah. And then Tina's, you know, and then but Tamar Glenn's a great character in the Halloween franchise. For yeah, sure. she is. But somehow magically. Jamie and the boy Billy know where this fucking barn party is. I don't know. Billy's like, but I do. It's like you don't know shit. You know how a Pokemon goes in your fucking pocket. You Billy's don't know. a stage nine clinger. Yeah, he is. Day one. Stage 15. Yeah, he's already yeah. wanting to marry this girl. Stop trying to But so anyway, so they go out to the Fuck. barn. At that point, you see Michael chasing her down with his Mustang, Tina. And then Jamie yelling. He's like, here, take it. And then Michael's like, oh, good. I will do this. <laughs> and it starts chasing Billy. And only he's only doing that because, like, that's my niece, bitch. What are your intentions? <laughs> and he's like, I'm, he's like a nine-year-old boy. And that's the first time. I just time, want to talk. By the way, that's I the first time you see Michael. Other than four, you see Michael actually going after a, a kid yeah. that's not related to him. Because yeah. Billy's not related to him. He was going to fucking mow his ass down. Yeah. Then he chases off after Jamie. He wrecks his car because Mustangs aren't supposed to go out through woods. No. Strange. I thought they were supposed to be the superior car. No. Uh, and then he wrecks his car, gets out of the car. Jamie thinks he's dead. He stands up. He looks pretty cool in that scene. Starts walking around. And then right before he's going to stab down on her... Tina pops out of nowhere Mario style. Gets what's coming to him. Gets stabbed. Jamie and Billy run off. <laughs> like a Loomis sneaks up on him though. He's like, you see his bald head in the back in the darkness and he's like, hey! <laughs> and they're like, oh fuck, you're almost as scary as Michael. But yeah, so then they make the plan, right? They make the plan, we're going to go back to Michael's I like it. Well, the, when Jamie's talking to uh, Loomis in the back of the ambulance, he's like, now you got that or what? Yeah. Uh, what? Maybe you're writing crown story for me now? <laughs> okay, Russian. <laughs> <laughs> but then he goes and he has this one moment uh, in the woods and he's yelling into the woods. He's like, you know, if you want her to stop the rage, you know, go home. Go home, Michael. That's your home, you son of a bitch. Are you too good for your home? And it's pretty cool because they set up this plan. They bring Jamie to the house. They're going to use her as bait. Roger Predactor from Ace Ventura's on scene, and he's really cool. He's like, I'm gonna go over our signals again or whatever. <clears throat> Meeker's on the, on the walkie-talkie, and Loomis is like, everyone can fucking hear you, and he's like, I'm a god, I'm, uh, uh, I'm in charge. <laughs> fuck it, fuck. No, no, uh, you, uh, uh, you, uh, you, didn't, you didn't quit. Yeah, you walked in here, you're fine. Uh, uh, you walked in here, you're fine. But for fucking the <laughs> But yeah, so Michael shows up, he starts to kill people. Meeker tries to set her up an escape plan, and the fucking window's still breaking. He's like, fucking shit! And then he, he you know, he, he uses 10 shots, he maybe hits Michael with two of them. Michael gets in, you know, all this crazy shit happens, but eventually what happens is that Loomis gets Michael squared off. I like how, but I did like when uh, Loomis uh, talks to the deputy, he's like, Charlie! <laughs> Charlie, don't make me fucking. You owe at least three thousand dollars in blackjack. I'm friends with. He got weird, sense. like I mean, Loomis got like fucking like yeah. gangster. He's losing his shit. Well, there was a moment Michael's listening to him, and there it was just a cool little uh, scene between the two. And there's two of those. There's that one, and then there's and one then the last Jamie one later. But when he does like sachet, sachet his stomach and like slices him. And Loomis is like, oh, his ass, yeah, like, and, and pounds his ass through a fucking wind windshield or window, and he's like. Ah! <laughs> and you know, throws him down the. You ripped my shirt. 
Yes. By the way, we didn't even mention fucking Travis Tritt walking around with his cowboy boots and still telling. Oh yeah, I forgot about fucking that guy. dumbass. Like it didn't even matter. Like you didn't kick the fucking dog. You didn't even do jack shit. Yeah, he kicked the dog. That's the most. Randomly, there's was. a scene of a dude in steel-toed boots stepping off a off a bus that he kicks a fucking dog, and, you're like, the, and then you see that you see the the cult of thorn. By the way, when when Loomis is standing in the house, you can see the cult of thorn like written on the wall. Oh yeah. Right there. Well, you also see Michael Myers at the cult of thorn at the very beginning of the movie. Yeah. This guy had the cult of thorn, and by the way, this, the seeds, this dude just reminded me of OJ Simpson's lawyers walking to the trial. <laughs> like he was, they were dark figures that we didn't know. But when you get to the point where Jamie and Michael had this moment, this is where it really steers into a point where it's like but fuckery on a level of five thousand. Yeah. When she's like, "Let me see." And Uncle? then, and then he takes his fucking mask off, and you see a fucking tear. I'm like, what the shit is this? Why are you crying, Mike? Why are you doing it? <laughs> uh, it? It makes me so butt hurt that I can't get over it, even after all these years. Like, I, I just like it's the worst fucking thing that could have possibly happened. Did takes you his... allow him? You gonna feel sorry for him? What the shit? He takes his mask off, and he looks like Clay Matthews after he gets a sack, but then gets a unnecessary roughness penalty. I thought you were say. I thought you were gonna say he looked like uh, Clay Aiken when he wa uh, he lost American Idol to <laughs> no, Ruben. He's got that. He's got that fucking pony. <laughs> Like, oh, I'm fucking, it's, 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 you could see where he could he could still technically be Tony Moran, like if they, you know, like just just the. Black but even hair but even then, like they zoom in on the eyeball with the one tear yeah. coming down, so you humanized him. He's freaking out, and and Jamie for some reason decides to lay in the coffin. Make but it easy. Then again, what else are you gonna do? Well, yeah, at that point you're like, I'd give it up too. Um, Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> you but, can't run that shit. <laughs> and he's like, I'm just gonna go. up. It's too easy. I, uh, let's talk. Well, she said, know. Uncle, again, dude, I don't know what the fuck. Fun, there was so much crack weird, smoking. Different in that. makes you think. Ultimately, but you humanized him to nothing. And then Loomis grabs her. You are as bait and um which we actually said that this is our favorite technical Kill. Myers death yeah. even though Myers doesn't die it's cool scene. um but it's just amazing to see this scene because Loomis hits him up with some tranks he drops the he drops the gate on him stand up trank sit down trank <laughs> <laughs> so, it's true. It's like, it's like, the way you say it, you're like trank. Yeah, it's true. So, it's perfect. Swimming pool. And then, trank. Like, so, so and then Lewis grabs a two by four and he's just fucking like you get this one on one man versus monster. Not only that, the the, the steel like the like chain thing that came around, yeah. and when like when he hits him with the three trains, and it's like this fucking monster. Like, dude, that was that was some Frankenstein shit. I like that. And what puts it over the top is that while Loomis is is slugging him with his two by four, and he's giving it everything he's got, Loomis has a heart attack. At least it seems well, we like think it is. Yeah. Seems like a heart attack. Loomis like clutches his chest. Falls on top uh, on, on top of Michael, and it's just like, Ugh, you know. And that that whole scene was so fucking just. Dare I say romantic? It um, was. It was. It was the last. It was the last dance with Mary Jane. It was amazing, which, but, which know, makes it for us the best. Michael's death. Well, we've always said the series. We always have said that, and, and I think a lot of people would agree that. Uh, Dr. Loomis is the Van Helsing of this whole series with Michael being the monster that he has to take down Like he's the only one that really can take down and they have this waltz with each other throughout the series And this is finally at the moment that you realize they both die together or they both go down together Sue and me scrapping in the street and, and that's it like that's it. it it's like, it's fucking they live when they both fight each other in the alleyway It goes <laughs> it, I wish it had gone on that long But yeah. they fight and it's it's the final moment and that's it like the monster is defeated and and Van Helsing dies with it, It's an amazing scene. It's very poetic Best, I, I think yeah. what you meant poetic, not romantic. For they sure. weren't gonna fuck after, but maybe. But yeah, best scene <laughs> in the movie. But then you get the stupid ass. Oh scene. my god, that was the cops good. grab him and they're like, they're like standing outside of his his uh, jail, cell. jail cell and they're like, we didn't bother to take off his mask or. Yeah, they let him have it, and you see Michael holding the fucking he's chain. Like, one. He's playing with his chains. He's like, "This fucking sucks." <laughs> they, they, well, this is my third time in jail. I guess they're gonna revoke my license. Yeah. He's like, "Oh, he's gonna sit here till the day he dies." So jail. he didn't get the, he, Okay, so you're saying he's not gonna go stand trial for anything, and any judge in the world is gonna convict him of. of for, they're gonna give him the death penalty. He basically said he was like, he's gonna go to where state pri uh, yeah. maximum prison. But then Jamie's like, "Oh, he'll never die." He's like fucking negative He'll Nancy over die. here. Subway will never have fresh food. Uh, and Jarrett will always be our leader. <laughs> but uh, oof, be careful. But uh, also, um, then you get that sequence. We're almost at the end, guys. Yeah. We're almost here. We've already gotten through shit. We're almost at. You know, look, the movie is so bad. It's like you didn't wipe your ass well enough. But no, you know what? We're gonna make it worse. We're gonna make it that you didn't even wipe your ass well enough. You just turn your underwear inside out, and you're gonna walk around. It was a pretend butt wiping, not even. Yeah, real. you're just gonna walk around making everybody smell that shit. Not even the real butt wiping. So then you get to the point where old cowboy hat Travis Trait runs up there, and there's a one scene where he's like, he's got a Tommy gun, and he's fucking mowing down cops like Dick Tracy. <laughs> like it's like a Dick Tracy opening, and he's mowing down fucking cops and. Setting Michael free, 
Okay, I don't even know what the fuck is happening anymore. Jamie rushes in instead of staying in the car or running the fuck away from the opposite the gunfire, which if she had grown up the hood, dog, you would. Uh, she runs in to see what's going on. You see the bar spin and the flames and you see Michael's gone and her saying no. Yeah. Wow, you could not have topped off a worse fucking how, date rape than that. How to write a franchise into a dark ass. That's exactly what they did. They wrote it to a... Uh, they, they didn't know what the fuck to do. That's when you get into Halloween 6 with a fan writing and it. We'll but, talk about that. But yeah, ultimately this movie, I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a positive spin and I'm going to give it a 6. Ooh. I'm going to give it a 6 because Ooh. there's great Loomis. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, Danielle Harris, like again, as I said in the last review, I think her performance in these two movies is extremely underrated. you got some of the best Loomis moments, one of the best endings as far as the 2 by 4 scene with uh, Michael, if they were to just tuck that fucking mask in, Shit. just about everything else, I'm being very, very nice in giving this movie a 6, and it's just because I like the franchise and it's lower so much. I'm going to give it a 5.0 myself. Like, as far as a Halloween entry, I enjoyed it as far as it being just an average entry. It wasn't one of the... It's better than Resurrection. Resurrection is a fucking Ugh. god, awful fucking stain on the world. But... Ew. It was a decent movie enough. It was a good attempt, I guess, to tell a story differently than what they had done before. That's what I'll give it credit for, that it tried to go outside the box, but it failed miserably. They didn't know what the fuck they had. They didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> it's getting late. I could use a drink. Mm. Comment down below. Let us know your all's thoughts. We love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn wham opinion. Yeah. Can somebody please tell Michael you cannot use a Ross Perot mask that looked like it got melted by Keith Richards' dick? Uh -huh. mm. We watched a movie. We watched a movie.